people together. You know, we all know from our outdoor stories from very different places. Um, and I've been lucky enough to have known Omar, not just from my entire life, but from a variety of different contexts. I am, after all, his nephew. Um, and his best friend. I know these guys have taken place to the best friend of their I started 300, 
And you know, I'm staying firm at 300, and they're coming down to like 550. Suddenly, out of nowhere, my chief negotiation officer, Omer, yells out, $500! <laughs> the landlord obviously jumps up, shakes over his hand, and is like, deal done. I look over at Omer, and he's got this like really smug look on his face, like, he's like, sort of, like pure cancer. And Omer, like, to this day, like, that's, that, that's still, that's still about me, but it's okay, you'll be making millions pretty soon, so I'll get that, I'll get that money back somehow. You know, you've been warned, Omer is an awful negotiator, so keep away from stores, stalls, any contracts that require negotiation. It's, it, it's, it's okay, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you, I'll, I'll get my money back somehow. So Omer and I have been the best of friends uh, for a very long time. Um, one thing that, that surprises me still is that We've never fought about anything. We've actually, like, I mean, we've had disagreements, sure, but we've actually never gotten angry at each other. Except this one time. And I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but um, we were in Champagne and we were in somebody's car, uh, and um, Omer called Shotgun. And for those of you who don't know what Shotgun is, it's your right to sit in the front seat uh, of the car. So Omer called Shotgun, and generally, I mean, you micro, we were pretty, we're pretty adherent to the shotgun rules, right? Except this one time, I figured, nah, you know what, I'm just gonna take the shotgun. Whoa, what's the worst that could happen? I guess someone was having a bad day or something. He just completely flipped out. <laughs> completely flipped out. He was like, Emu, Emu! I swear you better get out of my seat. I call shotgun, get out of my seat. I didn't budge. Emu, I swear man, if you don't get out of my seat, Wallah, I swear I will not give you a ride in my car for a month. <laughs> I was like, whoa. It's a low reaction, but he seemed pretty intense. So I didn't want I was like, alright, let's see what he does. So anyway, Omar was pissed the entire car ride home. And I was like, wow, Omar's really got an ugly side to him. Really ugly side. But don't worry, Noreen. This side will surface every now and then, but Eventually he'll, he'll settle down because that evening he came up to me and was like, Yo, boy, I'm so sorry, man. Like, I, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to freak out. I didn't mean to get angry at you like that. And don't worry about, don't worry about the whole Walla thing because you know what? You can't Walla anything in the future, so it's just. It's, 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 oh, that's how it works. <laughs> in conclusion, don't worry, I love you. You've been there countless times for me over the years. And I'm grateful we've remained so close over the years. Um, I've only known Noreen for like a week or so, but I can tell that you've got yourself a wonderfully caring, intelligent, and sweet partner. Um, and I wish you both the best uh, as you start your life together in Houston. Thank you.